Okay, cue the music. Jonathan Fibonacci. Uh, you can tweet me at, at Fibonacci. You know, I uh, was doing a little bit of research on the largest hedge funds uh, in America, and there's Bridgewater Associates, and they're out of Westport, Connecticut. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, some of the day trading private equity management that I do. But one thing that I want to talk to talk to you about, you know, and and by the way, if you're new to this channel, uh, I guess let me just go to my screen here, and we can talk about Bridgewater in just a second. Is uh, again, my name is Jonathan Fibonacci. I'm a day trader, private money manager guy in Colorado, and uh, I like to teach, and I like to uh, the, to teach the markets, and I also like to day trade. I just it's always been a fascination with me. Um, and so, in just a minute, I'm going to kind of talk about a commercial. Um, all right, let me just do the commercial now. I mean, well, I mean, why, why uh, leave the sales pitch to the end? All right. So, um, anybody who follows us knows that I'm a big Elliott Wave guy. And so, if you wanted me to do an on-site uh, uh, day trading coach thing with you, or maybe you wanted to come to Denver or perhaps Durango and sit in a sit in a hotel conference room, uh, my on-site's real expensive. It's nine thousand dollars per day. Um, if you wanted to do like kind of like a Denver Durango kind of like a seminar, I hate to use that term, but seminar uh, thing, let me know. That's like probably going to be two to three thousand. That's going to be half lecture and then half just trading. And you know, um, like anything, it's you you learn by doing. Um, you know, you can go get the the fanciest degree in the world, and that teaches that you, obviously that's an indication of your competence. But that doesn't that doesn't mean that you're going to be a good trader um, just because you're. Uh, educated in finance does not mean that, that that's going to make you a good day trader. You know, and when I talk about a day trader, I'm talking about a guy that wakes up at 7:30, wherever you're at. For me, at 7:30, taking positions, winning, losing, running a strategy, re-implementing that strategy, <laughs> trying again, winning, failing. It's that guy, you know. And that's what I've been doing really since college. And um, I found day trading, or I found private money management when I was in college, and just was really interested. And I was like most people, I love the idea of it, but I didn't know what I was doing because there's just no teachers around there. I mean, I mean, how many day trading teachers do you know? Now, as a corollary, let me ask you another question. How many people are familiar with the idea of going to a cooking school? Uh, or maybe you wanted to learn a, a trade, going to a welding school. Well, you learn by doing. Now, I think if you're going to trade 10,000, 100,000, a million, you better have some strategies. You better know what you're doing because the market, like you said, this, I mean, this is literally just today's market. This is a stock that I'm watching. I'm not going to really talk about so much about the symbol as much as I'm going to try to talk about the education. I, this is a classic 5C, classic. Now notice that uh, obviously it has stability, but this is, a, this is exactly what it looks like. And then notice what this is. This is a 5C on the Elliott Wave. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm looking and I'm microscopic. Now, this is a five-minute chart. You can see here. So I, each little line represents five minutes. And I'm watching the 61.8 retracement because one of the strategies that I use in concert with Elliott Wave is I use the 61.8 as a level of, okay, how much retracement has occurred? Because generally, an AB will go to 61.8. If it's an AB, it's going to tank, or it may even go to the 75, and it's going to tank. So that's what that's how I'm spending my day. I'm literally in my shop running a, a fib line on a 5AB to confirm whether it's going to go to 61 or 75. Now, I could be wrong. Well, that's exactly why I have these bars. So, for example, if I'm wrong and it exceeds the 75, then I know that I'm not in an AB, that this is really going to just continue to go up. However... Um, if you look on a daily chart, let me kind of go here, zoom in here. This is the daily chart. You'll notice that this is also an Elliott wave. So balancing the daily and the five minutes, that's critical. That's just, that's, that's just as simple as, uh, <laughs> you know, that's everyday stuff is balancing a five minute and a daily two Elliott waves to see what the next day is going to do. The most important thing, and the reason why I started with uh, the largest hedge fund in America is, you know, if you notice, Bridgewater Associates, they have a culture and principles. And there's a certain rules that uh, Mr. Dalio wants his people to embrace. And, you know, he, I love this guy. And, um, you know, he even has a, a manifesto that he, he put on here. And it's, I have to find it. But he's one of the few people that's actually said, okay, this, these are the principles by which I run my company. 
Uh, and he takes honesty very, very seriously. Now, it, I don't think it's any coincidence that when you, when you Google the largest hedge fund, you find Bridgewater Associates. What are they based in? Principles. Obviously, they have a culture, but do they have principles? I mean, it's not hard to have a culture. I mean, Facebook has a culture, but a principle, that's a whole different level of leadership. And I would love for uh, Mr. Ray Dalio to, to go to like some of the larger companies like you know Facebook, for example, and say, yeah, you have a culture of connectivity, but let's talk about the Fourth Amendment and NSA. Now, that's where the rubber meets the road. Now, uh, Mr. Zuckerberg, would he listen to that on the Fourth Amendment? Probably not, because his violation of the Fourth Amendment makes Facebook a ton of money. But look, the largest, hey, like, like um, who was it that said that the, uh, the worst thing in the world is a good example? The number one hedge fund is also the most principled hedge fund. And go read his manifest, manifesto. Let's go back to day trading and doing my own sites, because you know, if you want me to teach you to be a day trader, you want me to do an on-site, we're going to talk about principles. It's not going to be about personalities. I mean, you may not like my personality. You may be highly analytical. That's fine. I can get along with any person. But what I'm advocating is that if you are going to day trade, you have to have a strategy. And it has to be predictable. And it has to be consistent. And today, just briefly, I've kind of walked you through a couple things um, and uh, yeah, this is, this is one thing that we would do is we're, we're going to really watch our ABs on a 5C wave because anybody who knows me or talks to me about LA wave, uh, eventually you're going to realize that I build my whole strategy off the 5C wave, not the one or the two or the three. Now that's a critical point. You might want to have to uh, rewind this and listen to it again, but I've gotten to the point with LA wave that my entire LA wave strategy is built or centric to the 5C wave, all right? Anyway, if you are interested in learning to day trade, you're in the Denver, Durango area, I uh, like to do kind of a uh, seminar stuff, two or $3,000 a day, uh, let me teach you how to do it because, you know, you can make a lot of money and uh, you can also lose a lot of money. Let me kind of give you a little brief story. Uh, um, you know, I guess one of the places that I would go to help people day trade is Oklahoma because that's where I'm from originally. And my very first day trading job was in Norman, Oklahoma. Norman, Oklahoma was uh, a dentist. He wanted me to kind of watch his positions for him while he was with patients. And he thought that sounded like a good idea. And he didn't know really how to day trade. And, and I, of course, didn't. My job was just to kind of watch the positions and learn. And that's where I learned about Japanese candlesticks. And you know what? Uh, notice what I'm still looking at, Japanese candlesticks. So I've been trading since, what, 21, 22, 23? I'm now 40. And so there's a lot that I wish I would have learned when I was 22, 23, now it's taking me 20 years. So you're going to get 20 years experience um, in, uh, in a couple of days. And I can help the average day trader on an on-site probably in one to two days. If you want to do a seminar, uh, you know, one or two days. So invest in your future, invest in education. Um, and whether you use me or somebody else, you know, you have to look at the, the, larger, the larger fish. And you have to look at the good examples and say, hey, listen, no matter what you do, you have to have some principles. You have to have um, some rules, if you will. And um, when you start realizing that when you build your life from principles, or whether you're building a life or you're building um, a, a culture or whatever, principles are centric. And I think a lot of times we, we overvalue the culture and we build these personalities, these cults of personality, uh, and we forget the principles. And uh, Mr. Dalio, thank you, uh, Ray, for having such a wonderful company. But one thing that Ray, you know, people like, I mean, this guy, I mean, you can't argue with his success. So why reinvent the will? Just do what he did. Uh, and it's very clear. Go read his manifesto. He, you have to have a principled centric um, uh, company. And if you want to view your, your little small hedge fund or your little private money management as a company, that's the way I recommend you do it. And, and what do you need? You need principles. Okay, Jonathan Fibonacci, you can email me at Americano417 at gmail.com. Right now, this stock is, uh, is not yet crossed the 50 fib line. Um, I'm going to wait for it to go to the 61 or the 70. The way it acts there is going to tell me whether it's going to keep going up or whether we're going to see another retracement. Anyway, Americano417 gmail.com. I would love to be your day trading coach.